Yeah, hello guys. And here I'm trying my first fix. I disconnected the base of the transistors, of the power transistors from the whole sensors and make a composite transistor when I added uh, small power transistors are in a chain so between whole sensor and the base of the uh, power transistors to see if I may make it switching better if this would not help so probably the only chance would be like to completely change the schematic let's see if this will work see you soon hey guys and here is the result of adding transistors you see our pikes are normalized they are almost equal and here is signal on the base give me a second so pick it up here you see it's on the base of the transistor it's after our complementary 2N2222 or composite transistor you see it's normalized and like signal on the output of the transistor is normalized that's the next one that's the input nice and the output you see it's still not very equal between all of them so the next one Hard to reserve, sorry. It's a base. Oops. And the output to the coils. So, okay, let's me and it rotates, and it's pretty hard to stop now. Okay, let me see, let me connect out the board, let's measure while I'm fluttered now. Here guys, uh, I'm measuring while I'm flutter after I put composite transistors. It's improved, so from 1% we went down to 0.4, not 0.0.2%, .0 like about like four or five times better. But it's a point when we were before replacing whole sensors. And it's still not at the level I like it to be. You see, speed is very stable. It's 0 0.1 gigahertz. Speed is good. But wow and flutter, we have a pike. So our 0 0.2 gears pike went away okay. uh, but we still have 5 gears 10 gears, 15 gears so that's what is rotational so that's with every tune it's speed up a little bit and then slow down a little bit uh, that's where transistors uh, drive co coils not equally and we just seen it before that uh, they are close now, but not at the level I like them to be. So, let me think more. Let's see what I can do with it. See you. Bye-bye.